In this video, I'm going to show you 10 fonts that you can use for Halloween in Canva. Let's go. Thanks for joining me on this video. My name is Juno with Detour Shirts. I've been designing and selling t-shirts online since 2005. And in this video, I wanted to share with you Halloween fonts. And all of these fonts can be found on Canva. Now, these are specific fonts. Uh, like blood fonts and bones and, and things that are scary and funny. Uh, and Halloween's the best time to use these kinds of fonts because uh, people go out and do trick-or-treating and things like that. And so you can use some of these for very cool designs on t-shirts. Now I made a video like this before right here with fonts on Canva. Uh, these are totally different fonts. These are fonts specifically for Halloween. So you're gonna wanna look at these. I have 10 of them. Some of them are free, but most of them are pro. But I'm gonna show you the difference and where to find them and how to find them and how to use them in there. Halloween is one of the biggest holidays, t-shirt holidays uh, of the year. So you don't wanna miss these. If you're thinking about designing t-shirts for print on demand, you don't wanna miss Halloween and these could really help you get some sales. So let's get into Canva right now and I'll show you all of these fonts uh, and how to find them. So the first font I wanna share with you is Cartoon Retro Alphabet. You can see it right here. I'm just in Canva and I found these. So I put all of these out here so you can see what it looks like. Uh, this is the first one. It can be used for kids costumes, uh, any of those kinds of things for Halloween. Let me show you how to find it. So usually uh, what you would do is type in this, but if this doesn't work, you can try this right here. So I'm going to do cartoon retro and then the letter K in this case. And you're going to see it comes right up. It's in the second place right here. It's free. It doesn't have the pro. This one's free. Click on here and you'll see magic recommendations and you'll see all of these right here. And all of them have eyes and things. The nice thing about this font that I like is it also has graphics. So this could be really fun if you're gonna do a costume as a jellyfish or something, or as a cow or xylophone or, you know, lemon. You can use the text and graphics for a really cool costume and stuff. So the second font that I wanna share with you is called Marquee Letter Set. Now, same thing, uh, you just type in here, Marquee Letter Set, and I'll show you how it works. Marquee set and you'll find it it's absolutely free and these can be used you click on magic recommendations and see all and these can be used for um, any musical or drama things like that if you want to do that as costumes i think this is kind of the high school musical um, font but of course don't do high school musical because that's copyrighted but you could do musical mom or drama mom or things like that right and be really cool so as a costume too and this would be good on black as well if we change this color to black you can see it stands out as well there so um, very cool font there uh, nice nice colors and everything and absolutely free the third one that I want to share with you is called Bold Adorkable Alphabet. Now this is just a fun one. I think you can use it for like a 70s design. This is my 70s costume or 90s costume or whatever. Um, you just type in like I have here, Bold Adorkable Alphabet. And you can see it pops up right here and here are all of them. And if same thing, if you click on these uh, and hit magic recommendations, you'll see all of them here. And these come with some cool graphics as well. Uh, things that you can use, but not as many as the other one, but you can change the color on these. So if you need this one, if there's too many pinks or you want it all pink, you could do it pink. Or if you want to change this color to um, something else like that, yellow, and have a fun, fun color like that. Uh, it's really good if you're going to make it on dark t-shirts, then you can change all the colors to light. Or if it's going to be a light t-shirt, you can change all the colors to dark. So fun, again, free, free um, version on this one. So the fourth font that I want to share with you is the Spiderweb Alphabet. There's a bunch of them on here. I like this one personally. I think it would work really well on a dark t-shirt if I change it. Um, right here you can see it stands out. Really cool. Um, but the way to find this is uh, a little bit different. You're going to have to type in Halloween Alphabet and then the letter. So like W. And you'll see it pop up with a bunch of other W's. In fact, this is a really good way to find lots of different Halloween ones. Some that I'm not going to even show in here, but you can see there's tons of Halloween ones. This one's pretty cool. Uh, we'll get to this one. And this one's a fun comic book one, which I'm not going to share. I think I might have shared it in the last one. But uh, here you go. Click on here again. 
and click on see all and you'll see all of them here and you can do things for you know spiders and things uh, this of course is Halloween related spiders are really big um, for Halloween so have fun with this one this is uh, your font number four and this one is a pro all the rest are gonna be pro so if you don't have a pro version I'll have a link in the description for pro uh, might be worth it for Halloween to get all of these different fonts you'll see so many cool ones for the pro version if you're thinking about it I think it, there's a 30-day trial so uh, it'll get you right into there for Halloween so the fifth font I want to share with you is bats sky alphabet the way to find this is to type that in bat sky alphabet so b-a-t oh don't forget the s sky alphabet and when you hit it you'll see it's right here in the top you could also use some bats on the side like if you have the pro version this would look really cool on the side like that on a white t-shirt I don't think you can uh, color this one but you can color these fonts so if you needed a different font you can really cool on black I think it might be too dark let's see yeah it's kind of dark on black but of course you can change these to yellow and things like that if you want to do it on black but here's bat sky alphabet really cool um, bats again is really popular for Halloween so I love the the way these fonts look too it's kind of has that unique look so Font number five, Bat Sky Alphabet, it is for the pro version. Font number six, I think this one will be really cool for Halloween, and this is the slime, green slime alphabet. There's also a blue slime alphabet. This would be great for zombies or anything like that. Let's go back to elements and type in uh, Halloween alphabet again, and then just the letter. So let's do letter Z, and you can see it's the first one right here. We'll click on it and go here and you can see there's the blue and the green versions of it so have fun with this one this one you can't color it's either blue or green but uh, green would work great on black and i think the blue would work great on white so if we turn this to black you can see it still works really well on a black t-shirt so have fun with this one uh, this one i really like it has, has a unique style and i think it would do really well for costumes so font number seven is this black bones alphabet Again, this is pro. All of these that I'm going to show you from here on out are going to be pro. And the way to find this one is just like I typed in here, black bones alphabet. Really easy to find. You can see right here. I'll just click on the first one and see all magic recommendations. And they're all made with bones. It's really cool. And uh, if you're worried about this not showing up on black, you can change the colors to whatever you want. I would say white right so then when you change this background to black it should stand out here there it is black and white but of course you could change it to any color if you want this yellow to make it stand out of course you can do that too so have fun with this one this is a good one to have uh, for Halloween costumes as well uh, you can spell out words really easily and I love how it's uh, the bones are already there and looks really cool font number eight that I want to share with you is this kids monster alphabet now this would be really cool for like trick-or-treat uh, you can use it with other letters as well. It doesn't have to be all the monster letters, but the way to find this one is the same. Like I said, just copy this, kids monster alphabet. And there you go, there's a bunch of them. I would click on the first one. You can see these two A's are different. Uh, this one is the one that you want, that A, uh, and then hit see all. But if we go back and click on this A, this is a, another monster one that you could use. This is a little more simple, I think, for, for uh, smaller kids, younger kids. This is a fun one too. So either one um, works. I just showed you the, the first one with kind of more detail, but this one has a little less detail, but a little more fun. So have fun with this one. Kids Monster Alphabet is a great one for trick-or-treating. So font number nine is this Blood Alphabet. Uh, there's lots of Blood Alphabets out there uh, for pro version. Let me show you what I mean. So if we type in Blood, alphabet right there the first one is this um, white one which you can't see on white so if I change this to um, black there you can see it um, but if we go back to elements you can see this T is the one that I'm talking about and if we hit see all there's all of those but there's still other ones here more Halloween fonts. I'm just showing you 10, but there's a ton of them and a ton of blood ones too. You can see this one is a nice rounded blood one. If we do this here, that's a cool one too. So I'm just showing you there's three different blood ones, maybe more, but uh, this one is the one I picked. I think this one's really scary. Could do some really cool Halloween designs with that one. Um, and it works great on black and white and 
This one you can't change the color, but some of these other ones you can. So play around with it, see which blood font works well for you for Halloween. The last one that I'm going to share with you in this video, Animal Skin Alphabet. This is the last one I'm going to share with you, but there's tons of different fonts on here, as you can see for the pro version. The way to find this one is just type in Animal Skin Alphabet. And you can see uh, the giraffe is the first one, but there's, if you scroll down, I think there's the zebra as well here. So you can use either one. And you can color these too. So if you don't like the, the zebra colors or the um, giraffe colors, you can change it. Let's say you want a black around the outline instead of that color, you definitely can do that. So very easy to do um, to color these. And this would be great for any animal print. This one I, I wrote here, Zookeeper, that could be a great costume and you can use these fonts and make a really simple costume really fast right here. So lots of other ways that you could do it uh, on here. But this one is really fun and um, really easy to find. So those are all the 10 fonts on Canva. Hopefully you like these and can do really simple t-shirt designs for Halloween. Make sure to get your Halloween t-shirts in um, really early so that they can start selling before Halloween starts. You wanna get their, people buy their Halloween costumes at least a month before you wanna get their even before that so that you can rank up. So that is it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. If this video was super helpful for you, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to this channel already, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Got lots more videos to help you with your print on demand, t-shirt design stuff. Uh, the question of the day for this video is, which one of these fonts were your favorite? Let me know those in the comments. There's so many. If you've seen one in Canva uh, for Halloween, let me know which ones were your favorite. Thanks again for watching. And if you want to see more Canva tutorials and Canva tips and tricks, click on these videos right here. And as always, guys, keep creating and keep learning. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.